Hi, my name is Jessica and I have no idea what I'm doing. Today I'm going to be testing out, I think, the last palette from my Glam Light Bundle, the Donut Palette, or Glam Donut Palette. So the top here is somewhat squishy, but it is somewhat like hard and hollow, like it's not just like a plush kind of thing. And it came in this, I don't know what this really has to do with anything. Is this how they sell donuts? I haven't seen one sold like that. But, whoops, this is what it looks like. And this is definitely one of the ones I was excited for when I ordered the bundle. Uh, we got some pink, we got some purple, we got some blue, a little pop of mint. I mean, it looks good, but again, same thought. The only thing that's really light in here is this. I wish some of the other colors had been light as well. Um, even some of the mattes, like, everything's kind of mid-tone. So in terms of variety, there's a lot of color variety, which is nice. But in terms of depth, not a lot of variety. And I have to say, compared to the cake palette, I mean, there's a lot of similar colors in here. So you definitely don't need both, I would say. Or at least they should have, like changed it up more. So I have both eyes primed today and I think I'm going to do three looks. So I'll do two today and then one another day. I feel like I'm losing my voice again. That's not good. I'm going to start with my BH Cosmetics brush with a three on it and I'm going to go into Frosty which is the mint color. And this is going to go on the inner half of my crease and transition area. This is nice. It's not like going too dark as I apply it because some of the shades, they do that. It's staying pretty light, so that's good. Then I'm going to go in with icing which is a nice blue, and that's going on the outer half of my crease and transition area. This one I feel like is even lighter than the mint, maybe. And I have to say, there's not too much... Um, contrast between them. I would have liked more. Maybe a darker blue instead. Like a darker matte blue. Then I'm going to go in with sprinkles. And of course these are creams for anyone who doesn't know. I'm going to put this on the outer half of my lid. And then I'm going to take the middle shade, Glazed. Ooh, looks pretty. It's got like a golden sheen to it. And that's going to go on the inner half of my lid. I'm going to blend it into the other one. Maybe a little more over that. So it can be like a lighter blue. Mm. Yeah, I'm not thrilled with that just because I would have liked something else like lighter and like the contrast here I think I would have liked something darker then I'm going to take my dollar store brush and I'm going to go into glazed and I'm going to put that on my brow bone then I'm going to take my BH cosmetics brush with a five on it Go into sprinkles, see if it picks up, and I'm going to put that on the outer half of my lower lash line. It's kind of losing its sheen a little bit. And then I'm going to take glazed, and I'm going to put that on the inner half of my lower lash line. Yeah, this one, nope, that one's not picking up, so I'm going to use my finger. That's better. 
Then on this side, I'm going to take my BH Cosmetics brush with a three on it and go into Jelly, which is ooh, a hot pink. That's going to be my transition shade. I feel like I'm having a little bit of trouble blending this one out. Yeah, definitely not as smooth. I mean, it's very pigmented, but it's kind of sticking and it's a little patchy. Then I'm going to take my Ivy White Crease Brush and I'm going into So Sweet, which looks like a cool to neutral purple. Looks nice. I'm going to put that in the crease. Let's see if I can build a look here and like layer some colors. I think if the pink had blended out better, this would have looked better. I don't know why everyone like flips out over a glam light. Maybe, I don't know, maybe it's the packaging and maybe they don't have the same issues with the creasing shadows like I do. I'm just trying to blend this out a little more. Then I'm going to put a tiny bit of So Sweet on the outermost corner of my lid. And then I'm going to take some of Grape. Never heard of a grape donut, but... I'm going to put that coming inward, blending the two together. And then I'm going to take strawberry, ooh, hot pink, and that's going on the inner half of my lid, blending into the purple. Yeah, I feel like except for this one, they're not even like particularly luminous, so I'm not really thrilled, but I kind of expected that now. As I've gone through the bundle, and you'll see that I have other videos up about the other palettes that I got, I just basically got less and less impressed. I'm taking grape and I'm putting that on my outer half of my lower lash line and then I'm going to take strawberry and put that on the inner half of my lower lash line and blend the two together. Then I'm going to take my dollar store brush and go into glazed again. Ooh, that's kind of a lot. I'm going to use that on my brow bone. I'm also going to clean off the brush and try to keep it on the brow bone and I'm going to take a little bit and put it on my inner corner as well. Yeah, I don't I don't really like it. <laughs> um, I mean granted I might be able to do some different looks with it that I would like more but there's so far there's there's nothing special about the shimmers. They're probably going to crease. Uh, the only one that's like super cool is this one. And, I mean, these were pretty good here, but there's not that much contrast between them. There's not enough difference in, like, value. Yeah. But the last thing I'm going to do is take my Moda Contour Brush and go into Glazed and use it as a highlighter. Originally, I was going to use Jelly as a blush, but uh, that's definitely not going to blend out. So, I'm not going to. I'm just going to skip blush today. Can't even see that really, so I'm gonna use my finger. And yeah, the thing is, like even this, like this is a typical shade that is used nowadays. Like that sheer, looks white, but is actually kind of golden cream, like shadow or blush. I mean highlighter. So yeah, not impressed.
All right, so as you saw, I wasn't really happy with the looks that I had come up with. However, I have to say the pink and purple one wore really, really well. Um, the other one, this shade here kind of uh, like spread and started to crease a little bit, but I have to say it wasn't bad. Even this side looked pretty good wear-wise by the end of the day. So I only have two shades left. Of course, I used all the colorful ones. I'm going to use these two today for like a simple look and then maybe put a little of this on the brow bone. I also put that as a highlighter again, which, like I said, it's it's okay. It's just nothing special. So I have this eye primed and this eye not today just to see if there's any kind of difference. I'm going to start with my IBY crease brush and go into chocolate, which is the matte reddish brown and that's going to be my crease shade this is like very red like the shadow isn't red but it is a there's still a lot of red in it actually can you in the camera, it's hard to tell, but in person, it looks like it could be red. I'm also going to take some of that on my pinky and put that on the outer third of my lid. And I just want to make sure we get all the parts, you know, little gaps. And then I'm going to take maple. Ooh, that's pretty. It's pretty copper. Um, I'm going to put that on the inner two thirds of the lid and blend it into the other shade. I mean, you know, it's pretty, but it's just not, <laughs> not my kind of shade for sure. And I just have a feeling it's going to spread and crease, but we'll see because the other ones really didn't. I'm going to take my BH Cosmetics brush with a 5 on it and go into chocolate again and just do the outer third of my lower lash line. And then I'm going to use maple on the same brush. Let's see if it picks up. It does, so that's a concern. <laughs> Usually if it picks up on a brush for me, then it's going to spread and crease. So we'll see. Putting that on the inner two thirds of the lower lash line and blending it into the other shade and then I'm going in with my dollar store brush into glazed and using that on the brow bone that is a very red donut <laughs> I really don't think I would know this is supposed to be brown it really looks red in person all right so yeah definitely it's a little bit um say not as pigmented and blends a tiny bit easier on the side without the primer, but I can't imagine that that's going to last long. We'll see. So in the meantime, I am going to just do some swatches and yeah I'm I'm not happy with the color selection in terms of value and I'm also not happy with the level of shine and um, yeah if you were looking for brown in a donut palette it, it's not here I do think this was one of their first ones though so I don't know maybe their stuff is improved but I mean for me like I said the, the glam light palettes basically have not been working out for me so here are all the shades and I will give you the other close-up as I usually do
and I can say that I'm definitely done buying glam light stuff because regardless of whether or not everyone else likes it, I just, it doesn't seem to work so well for me. All right, that's it for today. I hope you have a good day no matter what it is you're doing. Bye. See you next time.